So um, the first card is faith. So uh, you're waiting, it seems, because you've got the, the happiness crow um, card crowning you. It seems like you're waiting for some happiness to come in. There was some sort of scandal that you were uh, involved in. So something happened uh, that really turned out to be something big. Um, and uh, now you're, you're, you're now going on faith and just hoping that, you know, that you get some happiness coming in. There might be somebody around you that's a very good friend, very loyal person that's supporting you, and you're relying on them to get through any kind of problems that you're going through. So you, in the past, you've got the generosity card. It seems like maybe somebody has um, uh, provided you with some... Um, something like a gift or uh, maybe uh, some finance they've been helping you out and on, the, on the other hand it could be you that's been too generous with your finances and you've got the justice card coming in over here so you've dealt with some kind of legal situation uh, recently in the past uh, so going into the future it seems like this legal situation is the one that is uh, requiring you to have faith that everything is going to turn out well. You're very confused about what is going on and you can't seem to find a way out of this uh, problem. So you're trying to think um, how to get out of it and, you know, uh, you can see almost um, all pathways uh, seem to be blocked. You really don't know what the solution to this problem is. And you're now going on hope. Maybe you're getting the support on someone and they have given you some fresh hope on, on how to get out of the situation. So those are the energies for that week. So the main energies of the card is uh, the Two of Swords. So it looks like you're trying to make some kind of decision um, and move away from the situation that you're in. So you're trying to make a kind of a decision. There could be, um, you know, it could be involving some kind of legalities. Um, you're requiring... Um, information. You've got the owl over here coming in. So some information is going to come to you in order for you to make that kind of decision so that you can walk away from any kind of problems that you're having. And you are having a lot of problems. There's a winter scene in the back over here. So it's, it's almost like you're in the winter of your life here. Um, you need to actually make it from a very logical point of view. And it is something that it probably is something that involves legalities or the law. So some kind of decision that you're making. Uh, so you need to actually just be very, very logical when you're making that particular decision. You haven't made the decision yet. So you're, you're trying to find the answers, but I, there is, because of this owl, there is some kind of information, some wisdom coming in that's going to help you make this decision. So you're a bit of a standstill at the moment. So what's going on with you? You've got uh, the world card over here and it's followed by the sun card. So you are completing a cycle at the moment. Something seems to be coming to an end. It could be a living situation, a job situation, but something seems to, uh, the cycle seems to be closing. You've, it's followed by the sun card. So, um, you know, there is... It is a positive end. It is not going to be a negative ending for it. And it's going to allow you to move forward. You can see this man is moving forward into the future over here. Uh, so uh, there's some information coming that's going to enlighten you in order for you to move in, uh, move forward. You've, you've come through a lot of battles. This man's wearing a lot of armor here. So it seems like you know, you've know you been a bit through the mill there. Um, but that cycle is now coming to an end. And whatever change comes in now is going to be positive. If you're in a work, uh, if it's a work problem, then, uh, you know, a lot of hard work is going to pay off in the end. And there's going to be a lot of acclaim, uh, a lot of recognition coming in for that work. But whatever cycle it is, um, you know, you are going to be successful in it. If this is a job uh, cycle, because the world also is ruled by Saturn, which ends up ruling, um, you know, work life, uh, you know, you might be ending a job and trying to move forward into something different, uh, something that um, is going to be more productive and uh, going to give you a lot more money. So in the past, you've got the uh, Seven of Cups over here. So it seems like, you know, everything, um, you know, you were trying to make decisions about what to do for the future and you were, uh, you know, really have no idea what to do. So for the last year, it seems like uh, you've had ideas about what you want to do. Uh, you can see this child looking to the future. So you're trying to make new plans for the future. And, you know, all of it involves... Um, there's different options available for you, but you're no, not sure which one to choose. So you're a bit confused as to how to go forward, how to proceed forward. So plenty of options, but no idea on how to actually proceed forward. You've got the four of pentacles over here. So you've had some problems with money over here. Uh, maybe you're not being able to accumulate finances or maybe there is uh, some information that you're missing about how to actually do this. It seems like you know maybe you've been trying to get some financial help, uh, financial um, advice, uh, but it doesn't seem to have been really productive. Um, and you haven't managed to accumulate that much off finances. So you're, you are trying, 
uh, to hold on to your money. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You are trying to hold on to your money, uh, but it seems like maybe it's slipping out of your hands. Uh, you need to actually, you, you need to actually get some advice about this. You do need some input as to what to do next. So what's been on your mind? You've got the 10 of rods over here. You're coming out of very, coming out of a very, very difficult cycle. There might have been a lot of pressure from a lot of people for you to get things done. Uh, maybe pressure at work. There's a lot of responsibilities that you're carrying. You're doing a lot of hard work at the moment. You've got a lot of owls over here showing that, you know, there's a lot of tears. So you might be crying a lot, but also that there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of information coming your way and a lot of pressure from a lot of people uh, trying to make you do things. So everybody's got their own ideas about what they want you to do. And you're stuck in the middle, not knowing really which way to go forward. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Three of Cups, which is really good. So some whatever um, you have been going through is now going to be quite successful. And it looks like there is a celebration. Uh, so things working out for you so that, um, you know, you are you are happy. Um there might be some friends that are going to be there to help you and assist you, but the outcome is going to be uh, really victorious. So what's happening with you? You've got the judgment card over here. So you are waiting for something to come in so that you can change your life around. Um, you're trying to make a decision to, to move in a completely different direction and get away from what you were normally doing. Uh, so you're trying to rise above that situation and, you know, take off in and do something completely different. Uh, and that's what your plan is. You're still waiting, though, uh, for things to come your way. Um, this is the hangman over here. Um, and it seems like, you know, you're looking at things from a very, very different perspective. There is a bit of sacrifice going on over here. Maybe you feel a bit victimized in that particular situation. Um, and you're having to see things or approach that situation from a completely different direction. Um, maybe you had to give up a lot of things as well. Um, and um, this is, um, you know... You are, it seems like you're, it's almost as though your hands and feet are tied. You can't, you can't seem to find a way to get out of that particular problem that you're getting in, um, that you're, um, that situation that you're in. Um, it doesn't seem like, you know, there, there are people there that are helping or, or trying to advise you, um, to see it from a different perspective. Um, but it doesn't seem like you've actually managed to, to break free from that, that situation. Um, the, the hangman is also a card of, you know, having given up everything, having been, um, you know, almost feeling as though you're being tortured in that kind of situation. Uh, it, it is a card of almost martyrdom and self-sacrifice that you've had to make. So what you want from the future, you want the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment. You want a good relationship. Maybe you want to get back into studying again. You want control back of the situation. You want to be able to manifest everything that you want. So you want your wish fulfillment. So going into the future, you've got the Six of Rods, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Rods. So the Six of Rods is actually quite a good card because it is a uh, victorious card. It is a card of uh, getting away from that situation. And you can see this woman's on this broomstick flying away from, a, you know, whatever's been giving her problems. So uh, a lot of victory coming in and managing to get away um, there is going to be a solution, it seems, that comes in. It's almost magical, this kind of solution that comes in, that takes you out of it. Um, but you're going to have to take the lead and you're going to have to take control of that situation in order to get out of it. So something is going to come and help you get away from it. Um, and, you know, don't overthink it. You need to just get in there and act and um, and you will be able to sort that problem out. You've got the Four of Cups over here. Uh, it looks like, you know, you're not really... You know, you're not really listening to what anybody's got to say. You've got this girl's um, hands over her ears. And you know, she's on quite an aggressive wolf over here. So whatever anybody's saying over here, it seems like uh, maybe you're not even prepared to listen to whatever they've got to say. And, uh, you know, if anybody is trying to make you do it, you are being very aggressive about it. So you've made up your mind about what you want to do and you're not listening to what anybody's got to say. It's almost like with the Six of Rods, you're saying goodbye to that situation and moving away. And you're not listening to what anybody's got to say within that situation. You've got the Three of Rods over here, uh, so the Four of Cups followed by the Three of Cups. You have an idea in your head. You are now putting that plan into action. You might be working with a lot of people, and it might involve a lot of communication. You've got a lot of birds over here. Uh, and this whatever you put down is starting to show a growth, show development. You can see all these leaves coming. So it's starting to produce results. 
whatever plan, whatever thing that you've started, whatever project that you've started, and now you are managing to communicate this idea or you're talking to a lot of people on the international front, really. So you are putting out whatever you've started. You are you are talking to a lot of people and, and it's growing. It's uh, getting better and it's producing some prosperity for you. So some uh, development coming in from there, maybe some money as well coming in from that particular project. So the first card says... Uh, Finally, the drama in your life is over. Time to celebrate, rejoice, and go forth in your life, and um, go forth in your life in a creative way. A newfound freedom, financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So there's a time. It's the card is rejoice, and it's a time for you to to be a little happier because things are now starting to go in the way that you want, and it's time to celebrate. And this is why the three of cups has come in over here. So things are looking up here, and the second one is alpha male. Uh, this card represents a very powerful male that will be coming into your life within the next 12 months. This person could change your life. It could be a, st a stockbroker, lawyer, doctor, real estate agent, or a benefactor, but he will not be a love. So somebody important coming into your life that's going to, um, in the next 12 months, that's going to cause quite an impact and change the direction of your life. And the last one is cleansing. This card indicates letting go of the past, going through a process of self-cleansing and self-awareness, and inner knowing develops bringing um, a new outlook, a new beginning. So whatever problems you have now, you should be happy it is now um, all over and it's time now to celebrate that it is all finished. You're going to have some finance coming in and it looks like you're emotionally, you're going to be a, a unstuck from the situation. You've got a, a person coming in for you in the next 12 months. He's going to make quite a difference. Um, and But this is not a love interest. It says here uh, this person could be um, a professional person that comes in and helps you out. And you've got the um, cleansing card over here that says that you need to let go of the past and um, because a new beginning coming in for you. So that's quite a positive outlook for these cards. It looks like whatever problems you have, it's also indicating this in the cards, is now finished. And with the sun card, you are moving to the future and you are going to be victorious. So your problems are now behind you and you are now going to be moving forward. You've closed cycles of, of a difficult um, a year, a very, very hard year, and it's now time to rejoice. Have some fun. It's the Christmas period coming in, so make sure you are going and having some fun. You are transforming with this um, judgment card, into, and you're going to be doing something completely different moving into the future. And it seems like whatever projects you undertake um, is going to start producing some uh, benefits. Something is coming in. It is probably a time not to listen to what anybody's got to say. You know, listen to whatever you have on your mind and do it. Uh, don't listen to what anybody says. You've also got the Six of Rods over here, which says you're going to be quite victorious and you're going to be moving away from that difficult situation. 